Figma number 608, Thorfinn from Vinland Saga. So I'll move him to the side for one minute and I'll show you the box. Some nice pictures on the back there showing the figure in some various different poses, showing the accessories that he comes with. Nice artwork on the side. So here's what he comes with uh, when you get him outside the box. This is what he'll look like without any of his gear on, without any of his accessories. You know, he doesn't have the knife in his pouch. This is the standard figure. This is how you'll get him out of the box. This is the hood that he comes with. So this will come inside the box. It doesn't come on the figure. It'll come inside the box. So what you'll need to do is remove his head and then you'll place this over his shoulders. So I'll add this onto the figure before we continue with the review, before I show any of the accessories. I'm going to add this onto the figure and I'll show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to take the head off. Now be careful when you take the head off. I've had this issue a couple of times with this one. Um, when you pull on the head, his head's attached to the neck. Now, the construction with this figure, it is very different to, I'd say, any Figma that I've gotten um, from this company. So, the neck itself is pegged into the body. The body construction is totally different from anything that we've gotten from this company. So, the neck sits inside the body. Now, when you pull on the neck, we'll see if it happens here. When you pull on the head, sorry, sometimes the neck can pop out of the body. Now that's not really what we want, but I'll see if it'll happen like it's happened every time I've done this to get the head off. There we go. So what's happened there is the neck has actually came out with the head. See? Now I don't know if I can show you inside here. Um, it's probably not picking up very well, but... The construction of the body is it's not an actual fully fleshed out body in there um it's almost just like an armature in there um what i'll do i'm going to take the head off the neck right then so i've pushed the neck back into the body so the best way of doing this is to is to Hold the neck with your fingers and then with your other hand twist and pull on the head and that should keep the neck in place and that will stop any issues with the neck coming out of the body. Okay. And then with the hood, just sit the hood over the top of the shoulders. And then we're just putting the head back into the neck. And there he is with the hood on. This figure just looks tremendous. The details that you get with this one, it's such a simple design. But when you stood on your shelf... He looks so good. Even the detail there in the boots. The sculpt that you get on Figmas. They just look like they've come straight off the anime that they're part of. You know, you look at the characters in those animes, you look at the characters that they produce in figure form. And they always just look like they've jumped straight out of the screen. 
I think when it comes to anime characters, I don't think anybody can touch Figma, especially the face sculpts. I know um, Bandai with their SH figure arts, they do anime characters, but the figure, sorry, the face sculpt um, normally that you get with Bandai, I don't think they can match what Figma put out. Figma, their characters tend to look perfect to the representation of the character that they're the, the figures built from. Right then, we'll have a look at some accessories that he comes with. Here's all the accessories that he comes with. So you can see you get two additional face plates, you get a spare wrist peg, you get two different daggers, you also get two handles for the daggers. Now, them handles are used to plug into the, the dagger sheaths that you can see hanging off his belt. He's also got one on his back as well. So if you wanted to plug the daggers in, instead of having him hold the daggers, you get the two dagger handles so you can plug them in. You get all of his hands. You get a Figma stand, standard Figma stand. And you also get a bag that comes with all Figmas if that's how you prefer to store all the accessories you know if you chuck the box away if you don't keep the box you put them in the bag and that's how you keep hold of all of these accessories with the hands you do get some standard hands on there that come with almost all figmas but you also get some hands that's um unique for this figure i've not seen these hands released with a figma before so they look very unique for this Figma, and you also get some dagger holding hands, which should be these ones here. Some open finger hands. So that's all the accessories that you'll get with this figure. You don't get loads of accessories with him, um, but for the character, I don't know what, I, what else you would expect to get with him. He comes with everything that you need that this character would use. So I'll load him up with some of the accessories and I'll show you what he looks like when you put the daggers in the sheaths that's attached to the belt. So there's the daggers in the sheaths attached to the belt. Now again with these just make sure that you're putting the right dagger in the right holder because they have some unique sculpts on them to fit the right holder. Okay. Ready to go into battle with these two knives. Looking very angry. That's his angry face sculpt. I don't know what's getting him that angry. Maybe somebody owes him a lot of money. Now you wouldn't normally display him with uh, the knife inside the sheath as well as holding the knife. You see this knife here? That's the handle for this knife. Um, he looks tremendous when you... When you have him like this, holding the two knives, with the knives in the sheath as well, fully loaded out. But again, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't display him like this because then he's got nowhere else for the other two knives that he's holding to to be holstered. But yeah, just fantastic. Again, it's a very basic execution for this figure, but he just looks so good. Now with the figure stand, um, it's a bit strange this one because figmas have a peg in the back but as you can see we can't actually get to 
the peg. So although they've included this figure stand that comes standard with every Figma release, it would have been nice to have a waist clip for this stand that they haven't included. Now the waist clip would be be able to go around his waist and then you'd be able to have him doing some flight poses with the knives. But Figma haven't included a waist clip. So if you don't have any waist clips lying about from any other figures that you've gotten, then unfortunately this stand is useless to this figure. Now here's a waist clip that I've gotten with um, possibly an SHF figure. Ideally Figma should have included one of these just because this figure is gonna it's gonna struggle with this this stand because again you can't get to the peg because of the soft goods that's on the, the figure. But what I'll do, I'll attach this this waist clip on and I'll show you what he would look like if you were to get him into some some flight poses. And there he is there on the stand using one of those waist clips. This figure is ideal for flight poses like this. But again, Figma haven't included a waist clip. But if you look at him in poses like this, This is why these stands come in so handy with these figures. They do come as standard with most figures, but again, if you're unable to use the stand because you can't get to the peg in the back, such as with this figure, then the stand's just useless. That's probably my only negative with this figure. It's just that you're unable to use the stand with without the, the waist clip. And here's the other face sculpt that he comes with. Another very angry face sculpt. Just tremendous execution from Figma with the paint applications, the sculpt. It doesn't matter how you position this one on your shelf. He's going to stand out in your collection. Normally with Figma, you don't get soft goods. And um, there's been a handful of figures that you get soft goods. Um, but most of the time with Figma, anything that would be material on the figure, such as a cape or any item of clothing. It's normally molded in plastic, sculpted and molded in plastic. But they've given us soft goods with this one. Um, so when I said before that this is a lot different from what we've come to expect from Figma, it's down to the soft goods, it's down to the, to the, the hood, the overall outfit that he's wearing. Because yeah, the figure itself, underneath the outfit, I'm not gonna take the outfit off um, I've seen photos online and there might be a few videos floating about where people take the the outfit off the figure and underneath it is just like an armature so you've got the arms and the legs and they attach into an armature which is probably I don't know I, I don't know if it's the best way that they could have executed this figure but there's no issues with it whatsoever being executed like that it's just very different from what we've gotten from figma before and um, it does allow very good articulation though i will say that so with these being soft goods the cape itself uh, the hood sorry it, it does kind of get in the way of extending his arms out fully that's pretty much all you want to get with the arms um unless you lift the hood up that's that's pretty much full full range for the shoulders that you're going to get. 
These aren't double jointed elbows, they're single elbows, but they're standard Figma joints. So I don't think we've ever had an issue getting full range of motion with the, the standard joints that Figma normally give us. He can't look up. That's that's his full range of motion when it comes to looking up. But he is able to look down because as I explained before, the head sits in the neck, the neck then sits in the torso, so you get two points of articulation. And he can look really far down. He can bury his chin right into his chest because of that extra range of motion, how the neck sits in the torso. He does have a very, very deep torso bend. Look at that, look at that ab crunch. You can get right over. Now I think Figma are doing a fantastic job updating their articulation. Again, with this one, it's got um, standard elbow joints. It's got the standard knee joints for Figma. Um, but just to touch upon the ab crunch there. I've just getting delivered as well um, the Xenoblade Mio. And she has fantastic ab articulation. She has a fantastic ab crunch. Very much like what we're getting here with with uh, Thorfinn. So I think what, what they're doing with their articulation, they are upda updating their articulation. Some people um, think that Figma are a bit outdated when it comes to their articulation. But most of the time... I don't think Figma needs to worry about their articulation, but they are updating their articulation. We're getting double jointed elbows, double jointed knees on a lot of figures that are coming from Figma. But then you get figures like this where I think they look at them and they think we don't need double joints there, which they don't. You know, I don't know what extra range of motion we would really need here in the legs. But with the ab crunch, there's no issue whatsoever when it comes to the ab crunch, what's going on underneath here. And what they've done with the abs is just fantastic. Okay, he does bend backwards. Not too far. Slight bend there. Legs can kick. Very high. So if you want them to really heal somebody right in the chin he's getting a good leg extension there putting somebody to sleep with a nice roundhouse kick to the face So when it comes to pausability, this one you would think would be restricted by the soft goods, but he's not. You can get him in any pause that you'd wish to get him in. And he has such a strong shelf presence. He just looks so good stood up on your shelf in pretty much any pause that you want to get him in. So here he is, a bit of a size comparison here. Um, these are three of Figma's latest releases. You've got Xenoblade Mayo standing over here, and then you've also got some Jujutsu Kaisen standing on this side. Now, these are three of Figma's latest releases. Now, the paintwork is absolutely flawless on all three of these figures. When it comes to Figma, um, and it comes to the quality that they put out. 
the way these feel in hand the plastics that they use always feels premium it always feels top quality the articulation you never have issues with articulation there's never any stuck joints the paint work is mostly always flawless now i've mentioned that these are three of figma's latest releases and i can't find any paint issues on any of these figures i don't know how um, japanese imports managed to do this i've had so many figures over the years i've had so many figures from different companies and a lot of the time you get the figures in hand and sometimes it's hit and miss with the figures um especially with quality issues especially with paint issues joint issues you know you get them out the box and um they'll have stiff joints and you'll have to heat them up you'll have to put them in hot water or use hair dryers which if you have to do that with your figures again you, you're risking you're risking maybe it's melting some joints you're risking you know doing further damage than, than what you'd really like to do but i find with figma i find with um sh fig warts when you get these import figures rarely do you have issues like stuck joints and especially with figma rarely do you have paint issues now uh, with these being three of figma's latest releases I don't have any paint issues to report on any of these. Um, but again, I'll be doing some reviews for uh, the Jujutsu Kaisen figure. I'll be doing a review for the Xenoblade Mayo in the next couple of days when I get around to doing them and get them uploaded. But here's just a size comparison of these three next to each other. I'll leave him stood there. Um, and then if I just put in an SHF, so we've got his SHF Toto, and you can see how he stands up against Thorfinn. So that's going to do it for this one. Um, I am happy to say, if I was to review this figure, I'm over the moon with this release. I could not be happier with this figure, the way he's turned out. The soft goods, they are different for a Figma. Now again, with this, if we have a look at Mayo here, she's wearing a jacket, but the jacket's sculpted and it's moulded in plastic. I don't think that they could have done that with um, Thorfinn just because of the amount of material that would be on him. He would, he would probably come out like a statue. You wouldn't be able to articulate them very well. I do have a few figures in, in the collection um, where they have, you know, long dresses or they have capes that are moulded in plastic and sometimes they can get in the way of articulation. Um, the way that they've executed this figure with the soft goods um, it allows full range of motion full posability i'm not the biggest fan of soft goods to be fair i do collect mezco um mezco are predominantly soft goods probably put out the best soft goods figures that you can pick up um i wasn't expecting to see soft goods on a figma though and it's a pleasant surprise with this doesn't hinder posability. Looks exceptional stood on your shelf. Just a tremendous release. And um, the figure itself, the accessories that he comes with, again, he doesn't come with many, but he comes with just enough that you'd expect him to come with. Yeah, nothing negative to say. Uh, the only negative that I do have with the set that you get uh, is the stand. I wish that the stand came with a waist clip so you could get him into them flight poses because you can't get the peg in his back. 
I mean, there's there's not even you know there's there's no way of opening the back either to to see if there's a peg there. So I find the stand to be to be quite useless, but the stand does come as standard with every Figma. So they have included that. I just wish that they'd included a waist clip. But the finish of the figure, the paint, the articulation, the quality of the plastic that they've used, the quality of the soft goods. Um, this is, it's it's high quality, it's, it's not cheap. As I mentioned before, Mezco tend to do the best soft goods when it comes to a figure, but if you have a look at this, have a look at the material that they've used and the way that they've stitched it to the body. It doesn't hang off the figure, it doesn't it doesn't make the figure look overly bulky, which I find soft goods has a tendency to do. That's the downfall of soft goods. You put soft goods on an action figure and sometimes they look too big, they look too baggy, it just sometimes it just doesn't look right. So that's why I tend to prefer um moulded plastic items of clothing. But I don't particularly mind soft goods, that they're, they're just not my preferred style of action figure. I prefer them to be moulded in plastic, but with this figure I don't know how they would have moulded him in plastic without sacrificing a lot of his ability to pose. So overall, um, tremendous release from Figma. I couldn't be happier with this. No issues with the actual figure itself to report. Yeah, very happy with this one.